Hello there, welcome to another video lesson. This is Teacher Martinez and this is Touchstone 1 and we are in Unit 2, Lesson C. We're going to talk about possessives, uh, apostrophe S and S apostrophe. It's different, okay? Apostrophe S and S apostrophe. Let's see what is the difference, okay? So here we have, okay, the teacher right what else can we see here okay glasses okay so the teachers glasses so the glasses belongs to the teacher the teachers glasses okay so this is a homework Mario's homework okay what else we have papers here uh, three students, in this case, three students' papers, okay? Okay, so in this case, we use apostrophe S, okay? We use this to talk about that this, for example, glasses, belongs to the person, to this person, okay? The teacher's glasses. Okay, Mario's homework. Okay, this homework belongs to Mario, and these glasses belongs to the teacher. Okay, but in this case, the word students at the end there is an S because students that's plural, right? So there is an S, so you don't have to put another S, you just put an apostrophe like this okay and that means that the papers belongs to the three to the three students okay three students papers okay so what about where where is the VCR you already know that you use apostrophe s and that is the short form of the verb to be okay where is where's where is where's and es is is singular the verb to be singular okay where is where's singular so the question is where's the vcr it's in the closet it's in the closet where's mario's homework it's on the floor it's on the floor now let's see the plural where are the videos Okay, where are the students' papers? The answer for the first one is there on the desk, there on the floor. So something very important here is that the verb to be has, in present, has three parts, okay? Am, um, is, and are. When we are talking about the singular, we use is, okay? But here is in the construction form. Where's is the same to say where is. Okay, where is the CV, the VCR, sorry. What is the VCR? Or where's the VCR? Where is Mario's homework? Where's Mario's homework? So this apostrophe S, that is the short form of the verb to be. But this apostrophe S is something that belongs for belonging you know so the homework belongs to mario okay and when we are talking about plural we use are where are the videos there on the desk so this apostrophe re is the construction of the verb to be they are there okay they're on the floor so in this lesson, you have question with where. And in the answer, we are using uh, uh, the preposition that in in, uh, in in one of the future lessons, we're going to talk about that, okay? So the preposition in, on, etc. okay? Page 16, lesson C. In the classroom. One, building vocabulary. A. Listen and say the words. Which things are in your classroom? 
Check the boxes. A map. Some posters. A CD player. A table. Some chairs. A computer. A desk. A clock. A board. Some videos. A wastebasket. Some dictionaries. A VCR. A TV. A calendar. Page 17. 2. Building language. A. Listen. What is the teacher looking for? Okay, so where's the VCR? It's in the closet. Oh, right. And the videos, where are they? They're on the desk under your coat. Okay. Um, and where are the students' homework papers? They're on the floor. Uh oh. What's this under my foot? It's Mario's homework. Oops. Uh, where are my glasses? They're not on my desk. Ah,、uh, they're on your head.